if you show up or if you can see in the pictures that there is any kind of physical damage. I'm not talking like smudges or small scratches or normal you know, wear and tear, that's fine. But if the optical tube, the tube that actually holds the mirrors or the lens is in any way out of shape, you walk right away. Even though they say, oh, it's just a small thing. No, you walk. If that thing is bent, you're out of there. And I'll tell you why. If the telescope was dropped or has received a large hit, a lens can be put out of angle, slightly out of shape. You can get what's called pinched optical optics where the optical tube is pinching on the lenses themselves or the mirrors slightly altering their shape which is going to affect the optical performance of the telescope. Physical damage is for me a big no-no because all you're going to buy is frustration. The mounting for the telescope is oh so ever important for your enjoyment of the hobby. So when you're out there and you're looking at the telescope try to just see if there's any play in the mounting for the telescope. If there is I would probably give that a pass. Another really easy test is just to take the telescope point it in a random direction and let go. The telescope should be able to keep that position on its own. If it can't do that, and I've seen that, you walk. Because then the mounting is just not big enough or not strong enough to actually hold the mount. And if it's one of those situations where, oh, you need to point it here and then you need to tighten that knob and tighten that knob, no, you walk. The telescope, you need to point in the direction, let go, and it should stay there. Another thing to look for is the focus itself. For some telescopes, the focus might not actually move as you turn it. It depends on the design of the telescope, but for most, telescopes, what you will see is when you turn the focus on is that there's going to be a physical movement of the place where you put the eyepiece in. Try to just rack the focuser all the way to one end and all the way to the other, just to feel how it operates. It should be smooth through the entire range of motion for the focus. 